Welcome to this bonus edition of our Ravel search and rescue vessel build. I wanted to make this video uh, separately because we're looking at um, doing the bridge area here. Now, the kit doesn't come with any of the interior for the bridge, um, so it's just empty in there. And here's our bridge area complete, windows in, all ready to go, and that will simply go like that. That's about it. Or actually, more like that. Anyway, so as you can see, there's windows all the way around. You can see in there, it's going to be pretty lit up from the natural light coming in. And you'll see there's nothing in there. So what I want to do is put something in there. So first of all, I'll just put a photo up of what I've made. And you'll see in that first photo, I've made the console, which will go in the front here. And then in the other photo, in the other photo, I've made uh, a walled off section in the middle here, just to fill in this blank space. So let's, um, let's have a look at what I've got of them so far. So here's this piece here. And I've, I've only undercoated these. So uh, they're a bit hard to see, but again, I'll put uh, a photo up of this. Now that is simply going to go uh, it's upside down. <laughs> that wouldn't help. So this is going to place this in here if I can just find a way of holding it. So it's going to sit in there like that, fill that area up. And then the other piece is just going to go roughly in the center like that. All right, so that's going to give something to view when you look through the windows here. Now, they're only undercoated. I've done a gray undercoat. I'm actually going to paint them. Um, I found this iron, a dark iron color. So I'm going to do them in dark iron. And then I'm thinking of doing the screens I made, which are simply a uh, spare photo etch I had left over. Everything on the top of that is spare photo etch. And the other parts in there are just um, bits of styrene I've just cut to shape, including the throttle control. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but hey, you know. So I've done more photo etch around the top of this and a bit of piping on the side, some vents, some sort of cupboards on there. And there's a big grill on the back of it. You can see that if you look through the side windows here. And um, so I'll do them all black. And then the tops of these, I'll make them look like computer screens. And I'll do them in a green, like a, a uh, like a, make it look like a computer screen anyway, a glossy green. Um, but if you're building the model, it's definitely worth uh, doing this, it takes nothing. I just whipped up a bit of styrene. I mean, the stuff's not even straight. <laughs> I even got these on the wrong. I put one on the outside, one on the inside, and it's made it the wrong angle, but it's not going to matter because the only view you're going to get is through the side here and here and the back. So it's all good. Now, I'd love to put a chair in there, but I, I just can't. I don't know how to build a chair. <laughs> so... We'll see what I have to I can do about that. I'm leaving everything else white. The floor will stay white in there. Um, the walls of this on the inside, I'm thinking of putting maybe just some pipes or something in there just to break up the whiteness um, to look like there's some uh, supports or whatever you would call it. You know what I'm like with ship terminology. <laughs> um, just to create a bit of structure in there I might just put something there but we'll see so all right now right now I'll go and paint these in our dark iron and we'll come back and see how they look and um, see what other little touch-ups I can do on it all right back shortly okay so I've just sprayed these and I'll tell you what this Tamiya um, dark iron is a beautiful color look at that 
I didn't do it too dark. I put a nice light coat so you can see a bit of detail in that grill. And um, it went on really nice. The cupboards on the back of that. And then, of course, the control area at the front went on really nice on there too. So I've literally just painted that. So I'm going to let that dry now and then um, I'll touch up the computer screens and and see what else I can add a bit of green to. But like I said, you're not going to see these really clearly at all. I might, uh, the little throttle control there, I might do that uh, black, with a bit of chrome on there. But, uh, and uh, yeah, so that won't take long to dry and I'll touch that up and we'll come back and have a look. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so I'll just show you something else I discovered. So I thought I'd just put these little pieces in here, just on each side, just to make the wall, you know, just break up the whiteness a bit. And I don't know if you notice something unusual, but uh, there's doors on the outside, all right? You've got one there, one there, but on the inside, there's no doors. So they're magical doors. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, I'm not going to make up, uh, it, make it look like there's a door on the inside at all. That'll just have to be uh, an optical illusion, or just hope no one will notice that. <laughs> um, you know, you'll only be viewing it from one side anyway, so who's to say there's a door on the other side? Eh? Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm going to put in there because this you won't be able to see because of the centerpiece I've got in. And, of course, the console area will be in the front, taking up that area. All right. So, um, yeah, I'll get back into it, and we'll we'll have a look in a sec once uh, I get some of the um, console detailed. It's still drying. Okay. Back in a sec. Okay. So I've touched up the console a little bit. See the, the green for the computer screens. Um I put green on there, bright green, and then I put a clear green over the top just to give them that reflection. That's kind of pretty good. I got this bit of chrome on the throttle control, black on top of that. But then, of course, while I was working on that, I was looking at the bridge here, and I thought, oh, no, I forgot something. So I don't know if you remember, but I left the railings off on here because there were two separate pieces attached and I thought oh, I'll put them on later well I forgot to put them on later so I've got a railing to go on there and a railing to go on there so here they are here and I can't put them on and paint them on because I put the glass in the windows and of course I've painted the wipers as well so what I'm going to have to do is paint these little photo etch pieces separately and then glue them on very very carefully <laughs> uh yeah but it should be right i've had a bit of practice doing the other ones so it should be no problem at all all right so uh, i'll get on with that and then we'll come back and we'll see about getting those in place so i think they can go this needs to be attached pretty shortly okay we'll back in a sec okay welcome back so here you can see i've got the console in nothing's glued in place at the moment just showing how the finished result will look like so that's all in this center piece is in with the walls and it's not real good the top of your down view but i'm putting a couple of photos up sort of here and here and you'll be able to see just uh how much better that looks i mean i'm happy with it anyway and uh it doesn't take long to do like you know it only took me literally a couple of hours really if you put it all together um yeah so once that roof goes on top of that the deck comes down on top of there um uh, yeah that's going to give something to look at through the windows rather than just a empty void so uh yeah pretty pretty happy with that so uh, if you're building this kit, um, yeah, just go the extra effort and, 
and put something together like that. It doesn't take much. Just use a bit of imagination. It doesn't have to be, you know, detailed. Or, you know, I mean, I could do more, but that's enough. That's all I feel it needs. And, um, yeah, the important thing is that you're happy with the result. That's all that matters. Okay, so, yeah, thanks for watching this little bonus video for the interior. And um, we're back to the normal schedule uh, for the other parts, which I think the next one will be part 11, pretty sure, yeah. And, um, again, uh, please uh, comment below if you've got any comments or if you have any questions. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit the notifications tab so you get notified of the video videos as they come out. And you won't miss, especially these little bonus ones that come out. You will be made aware of them. And, uh, yeah, all good. So uh, thanks for watching again. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye for now. Cheers.